Oh. It's news time, folks. It's news time. Uh, okay, uh, here we go with the first story. Louisville, Kentucky. Simmons College, an historical black college in Kentucky, reportedly initially declined a $1 million in scholarship funds that Papa John's Pizza founder John Shatner wanted to donate earlier this month. As a result, 10 students who were initially promised the scholarships were disappointed that they would no longer receive the funds. However, the administrators at Simmons College said the internal problem between the company and its founder is what really caused the confusion about the scholarship donation. I felt as though someone's taken the weapons of mass destruction and have flown them into the hopes and dreams and aspirations of America's most vulnerable students, said the President uh, Kevin Cosby, about the, the company's apparent decision to no longer make the donation. The resta restaurant chain, how, however, claimed that the administration at the college were the ones who rejected the scholarship funds through email. So Papa John's once again uh, in the middle of some some nonsense. This time they had promised uh, the historical black college a million dollars and then they turn around and reneged on it. Now they're trying to blame the school and say the school refused to take the money. All right, here we go with another. T uh, so it's been it's been a lot of stories in in the news here lately about about students. And uh, this particular one is another bus driver, another crazy bus driver. And uh, this time, the students were smart, and the students uh, called 911 to report the driver being drunk. So Washington, D.C., uh, Catherine Macaron, a 40-year-old bus driver from Washington, D.C., is facing DUR charges following a 911 call from a young student reported that she was drunk while driving. The bus driver, Catherine, she was, uh, she was drunk because she passed three red lights and she got on the side of, of the road by the 76th and there were still kids on there. The child told the dispatcher according to the 911 call recording, she's like wobbling her and her eyes and you can't tell you can tell she was drunk. The little boy called 911 right after getting off the bus. He has also said the driver's breath smelled like alcohol and she wouldn't let his other friends get off the bus with him. Responding police officers said they found Macaron a few minutes before 4 p.m. and they smelled an obvious odor of intoxicants coming from the driver. There were no children on the bus at that time and uh, Macron was arrested. So it's a uh, crazy school drivers out there, drunk as a skunk. This 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 story right here is disgusting. Uh, this is Florida. It's a uh, I hate to say it. It's a black lady here that left her three year old daughter in the car while she went to go work at the strip club. Oh God. Lauderhill, Florida. Manchuka Daniels, a 23-year-old mother from Florida, was arrested after she allegedly left her three-year-old daughter alone in a car for about three hours while she worked at a strip club. She is facing one count of child neglect in connection to the incident. According to the reports, police responded to a call around 2 a.m. reporting a young girl who was spotted crying while roaming around in the parking lot of Vegas Cabaret and 5400 block of North University Drive. When police arrived, they found a girl who appeared to be terrified and confused as she had no adult supervision. She led the police to a black car that wasn't running and had a crack on the back window. Police said they found toys and a car seat in the back of the car. About a half, half an hour since the police arrived, Daniels came to the car and identified herself as the owner of the car and the girl's mother. She admitted that she had just left the child there briefly while she dropped somebody off, but later in the case, uh, we realized that was not the issue. Oh boy, that's, that, that's disgusting. The three-year-old girl was placed in the custody of uh, Child Protective Services, and Daniels has since been arrested and held without bail. 
So, it, you know, she, she deserved to be arrested. I'm sorry. She deserved to be arrested for that. You know, you're going to leave your little kid in the car while you go to the strip club? Come on now. On the flip side, here we got a smart sister here. Yale student guilty of sleeping while black. I don't know if you remember this story. It was a few months back. Uh, some some people call themselves doing, uh, you know, yeah, uh, calling the police on this black black lady that was at that was a student at Yale University, and she was uh, taking a nap. She was at, at in the choir. They're taking a nap before her next class started, and they called called the uh, police on her, and she got, you know, they came out and harassed her. The Yale student who was questioned by police while sleeping while black in her dorm, she was actually in a dorm, was recently earned a master's degree in African studies with a disciplinary area of sociology. She is all is set to continue her doctoral studies at Cambridge University in, in, uh, in uh, England. Last year, uh, Silvonia was writing a term paper in a dorm, dorm's common area when she fell asleep. She was startled when she was woken up by campus police, which called her, uh, which were called by her white dorm mate, Sarah Brosh. I was livid. As disappointed as, as I was, I was, I was, uh, and I read as I was, I wasn't shocked, she told, told the news during the recent uh, interview. I was just like, the nerve. It was just like class, classic textbook profiling. Disrupting my time, disrupting my freedom to exist because you are programmed to think that all black people are dangerous. So she uh, graduated, and let's see. Despite the stress of the incident caused by her, she continued her studies at Yale. She recently graduated with a master's degree in African studies with the focus on sociology. She also received a Gates Cambridge scholarship to study at Cambridge University in the United Kingdom where she decided to pursue her PhD in sociology. I came here to get what's mine. I came here to get what belongs to me and what I'm entitled to and what I need to fulfill my purpose in the world. Congratulations, my sister, getting ready to go to Cambridge. Can't, give, can't keep a good person down. You can try, but you can't do it. News time, y'all. Come up.